hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to start about the react js tutorial and where you will be learning about how to build a website so complete responsive website using bootstrap we are going to build using react js so guys let's get started with it so this is our react.js.org website where you will be learning about building the website so guys now first step let's go to our documentation so let's click on docs as you can see getting started and now we want to build a website so this documentation we will follow in future videos where we'll be learning more things about it so as you can see over here create a react app so let's click on this and below you might see that create a react app okay so here is one github link so let me just click on this okay so guys, this is one github link to create the react app over here you can see so quick explanation they have given over here and inside this app also you can see that this if you want to create a react app you have to use this uh, link to install and create your app so guys to use this npx you need the version node that is 8.10 and the npm is 5.6 above it should be so then only you can use this npx so guys you have to check that so let's check with it so before getting creating any react app make sure you are having the node and npm installed so guys now let's get started with it so first step i'll just clear you one node thing so let me just give control n on it so this one just dummy thing i just want to show you so over your first step we have to install the node.js so node.js so node.js file you have to install node.js so guys for node.js installation just go to the node.js website node.js hit on it and you can get the first link over here you download as per your system requirement and then start using with it so once downloaded you can install that and by using next next and then after successful installation you can check the version so to check the version i'll just use my vs code terminal over here so right now to check the version so let me just give check check node.js is that node hyphen v so this is the code to check so let me just paste over here and hit enter so i have already installed the node.js so it's giving me that is version 12.14.0 right now current version and then next you have to move on with the second step so in second step we will be doing about the npm install so install your n npm okay okay so guys what we have to do is that now install the npm so as you see let's google that install npm for windows okay so if you give this and you can get all the npm things how to install that so guys to install the npm you can see the command over here or else you can download with that so first to install npm you require the node.js so without node you won't be able to install it so now you can download this node.js and npm and then install with that so if you are comfortable with that you can move on or else you can give a command to install so cmd for install i'll just mention that over here npm install hyphen g globally where i am going to install it so this is a command to install right and then once it is installed you have to run this command over here and make sure installed after if you are installed check with this so what you are going to check check npm so that command is npm hyphen v so let's copy this and now let me just paste over here hit enter so you will get the version of the npm so right now we are working on 6.14.10 this is a npm right now so after this both installation then only you can move on with your react js so to build the application so guys let's move to this github repository thing 
overview here you can see quick overview where you are using the same link to create the app and you can use globally also okay so as globally means you can install this npm for create react app if you use this so let's copy this and i'll just tell you with the note so in this third step you can install the react globally but it's not a good habit okay so react install globally is this is the command okay so as simple this will be the command so you have to copy and install now if you have installed this how do you check whether this command is installed on your not on your system so for that let's give check where i will type the command over here so you have to create create react app hyphen hyphen version okay so this is the command so let's copy this command and paste over here and now let's check i have already installed on it so once it is installed then you can check your version so it's currently 3.3.0 so this version so guys now as per your documentation on the fourth point let us make a note on it like get back to your google chrome and over here guys so you can use to create a app directly create app and your app name okay so we are not going to follow these things so but if you in case if you want to use this install this globally and you want to create app and the app name so you can just follow with this and create a simple app so globally globally installed react creating okay app so that time you can use this command called react let me just mention that cmd colon your react app where your app name so for example i am giving funda hyphen a a a p p so this is the command which you are using to create it okay as simple then guys now if you don't want to use this globally now we have to check with other thing so there is one more method so once you create in this format you can follow with the second one so which is that npm init where react hyphen app where funda hyphen app so this is your app so this is the most of them use this one okay and now which we don't need this so if you suppose you are not installed this globally okay so if you have not installed it so that time you can use this fifth method so fifth method is that direct direct install or create your react app okay so how will you make this as simple let give cmd and over here when you run the command for it you can just go to your google chrome and you can see that just copy this so it will directly take from the net and make the command for it so let's paste this and now so that this is the npx so npx means the node module should be above the version okay so above version means we can see that uh over here so 8.0 and 5.6 so this if you want to use this npx so guys as you see that we have given my app over here so instead of my app i'm going to use funda app so we'll copy this and paste into this so let me paste it. let's clear this okay and if you paste directly over here npx create react app funda app so this will start creating one folder inside this funda app so i have already created the folder but i want inside that so let's type as dot over here okay so just let me give one more command for this you can follow with same thing where you want into the same directory so this dot you have to add so i'll just mention one simple give you a simple note which creates into existing directory only okay as simple done so this is a, these are the five steps which will follow with it so now let's click on and create the app so i have just clicked on it where you can see it will start generating the files 
okay so here you can see all the things so let me just cut this and just remove it so if you required you can just note it down for your reference in future how to start the react application thing so these are the five steps which we required to do okay so right now i'm just going to leave with this one more sixth step will be how to serve this app so once the app is totally created and installed it will take few minutes so this might take a couple of minutes so guys, let's just wait for it and then we will check how the output comes on your google chrome so let's just wait for it to finish okay so guys you can see many changes have come now as you can see it's still installing so let me just make it to top where you can see all the things so guys these are the few which we clicked on it and now it's getting installed and then final it's still doing with that so we'll be learning much more things about this how this package is running and doing with this so in second video we'll be continuing this react tutorials so let us just wait for a few minutes where it will finish this okay so guys finally it has completed now where you can see the success and created funda app okay so inside the directory you can run the serve commands several commands where you can see about the start run build test and eject one okay so about this we'll be learning in next video about the directory how this works and what the things are included into it so guys now let us use this command npm start to serve this okay so what is our sixth point is nothing but to serve this app so let us type like run the react app okay so for this the command is cmd where my command will be n npm start okay so i have oops so npm start let's copy this npm start and paste into your terminal so let's paste and start the application so it will just take few seconds to start with this npm start so it's, it's getting started react js start let me just make it little top so so guys starting development server has been started which means that automatically it will be started in your google chrome let's go back to a google chrome okay it's still loading so guys let's just wait for it so that our development server will get started with it so little bit so guys you can see that the react is installed successfully so as you can see let us go to our server where you can see that compiled successfully and it is showing at this localhost this point or else you can move with the this point okay so as simple where the npm is started okay so this is the page so guys, if you want to edit these things, you have to go to src where app.js file is there and save to reload this page. So guys, if you make any changes, it will automatically reload. So let me just show you one demo. So let us make this little aside and let's come here and now I want to make it small and the command of this is done. So let me just close this, delete this file. I do not require about it now. Let's finish and now guys let's go to our src let me make it small so let's okay so now we are going to sr and app.js file so this is the code over here where you can see so now guys this is my logo this react logo okay so let us just increase the little size and after that the p tag is over here and now what we will be doing we'll just give one more enter and we will create h1 tag and close this h1 and inside this we are going to type funda of web it and i'm going to click on save okay so let's just click save and you can see the change over here so it will take few seconds to load over here let's save it okay so it's building and 
created successfully see here so without doing the refresh thing it got reloaded so guys finally we have completed about how to install the node.js and npm for to install our react thing so guys uh, we have completed the part one of building a website where with the react so i see you next video about how to set up the links and css bootstrap things in the, this react.js so guys thank you for watching this video subscribe like and share